Hi, I'm Julia Kelleher, and this is the Creative Newborn Photography Studio. In this class, you're going to learn all about creativity, how to find it, where to get your ideas, and how to embrace it. It's our job as artists to convey emotion. And a lot of what I'm going to be teaching you here in the next three days is about taking what's in your heart about your subject and putting it onto a page. My biggest takeaway has probably been the fact that being a photographer, you can be an artist. I never really thought about it that way. I always thought about being more of a technician, getting the right exposure, the right aperture, the right shutter speed. And this shows me you can actually create beautiful art. We're also going to talk about, of course, newborn safety. And we have tons of live shoots with fresh, beautiful babies here in the studio. Everything from the bean bag to buckets and floors. And live shoots with parents. How to pose them successfully with emotion and love with, for images that they will love. You are my prop. Let me do the work. OK, I'm going to put him in your arms. He's so little right now. He will only fit like this for so long, and I want you to enjoy it. Okay. It's so sad. <laughs> you know it is sad, but it's awesome too, and we're going to record it. My favorite segment has been how Julia emphasizes the three points of contact. With every newborn baby pose we do, there's three points of contact for safety for you to hold him. Okay? So your hands are number one and number two, your chest is the third. We'll also learn about Corel Painter and how to digitally paint your images, along with actually painting on the surface of them with organic mediums. We're going to composite in Photoshop and so, so much more. Most of compositing is making whatever you want, the images that you want to put together to make one, making them fit. Color, light, atmosphere, and size. If you think of that acronym every time you do a composite, you're well on your way to success. I'm really good in Photoshop, but I still learned uh, like the art history tool. I had never used that, and it was just beautiful the way she was able to apply that. So if you're looking to spark your creativity, it all starts with this class, so download now.